Hi, I'm Aditya and I'll present our work on Multimodal Fusion Transformer for End-to-End -end Autonomous Driving. Consider a scenario where the Ego Vehicle is about to enter an intersection. To safely navigate the intersection, the Ego Vehicle needs to capture the global context of the 3D scene and model the dependencies between the traffic lights on the right and the vehicles on the left. The Ego Vehicle perceives the environment through different sensors, camera and lidar being the most popular ones. While a camera can provide dense perceptual information about the scene, it lacks reliable 3D information and is highly susceptible to variation in weather conditions. On the other hand, LiDAR consists of 3D information, but LiDAR measurements are typically very sparse and do not contain important information such as traffic light states. Hence, image-only and LiDAR-only methods are likely to fail in complex scenarios. This limitation can be mitigated by using fusion-based approaches which helps to capture both the geometric and semantic information of the 3D scene. This leads to several research questions. How to integrate representations from multiple modalities? To what extent should the different modalities be processed independently? And what kind of fusion mechanism to use for maximum performance? Prior literature on sensor fusion is mostly focused on using geometric feature projections from 3D space to image space and vice versa. We observe that geometric fusion underperforms in complex urban scenarios involving dense traffic, resulting in collision with other dynamic agents in the scene. This is another example of a complex scenario involving multiple vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists. We hypothesize that this happens due to the lack of global context, since the features are aggregated from a local region in the projected 2D or 3D space. In the illustration shown here, for the traffic light region in the image, geometric fusion aggregates features from the blue region in the point cloud, since these points project to the yellow region in the image space. However, to safely navigate the intersection, it is essential to aggregate features from the red region in the point cloud since it overlaps with the vehicles moving from left to the right. Our key idea is to use attention-based feature fusion to capture the global context of the 3D scene. In particular, we use transformers for this purpose. We consider RGB image and LiDAR bird's eye view projection as input to our model. These are then processed by ResNet modules resulting in feature maps of different resolution throughout the encoder. We then use transformers to integrate image and LiDAR features at multiple resolutions. Here, we show the fusion mechanism of the image and LiDAR features at one resolution. We consider the intermediate feature maps to be a set rather than a spatial grid and treat each element of the set as a token, resulting in a 1D sequence of image and LiDAR feature tokens. These tokens are passed to a self-attention module which executes the fusion process. The output features are then reshaped into the grid form and fed back into the individual feature extractors. Transfusion outputs a feature vector which is then passed to a GRU-based auto-regressive waypoint prediction network. The entire architecture is trained end-to-end -end using L1 loss on the feature waypoints. The predicted waypoints are then fed to PID controllers which output the vehicle control. Next, we compare our transfusion model with geometric fusion in different settings. First, we show results on generalization to new town. In this scenario, geometric fusion collides with the vehicle coming from the right whereas our transfusion model stops our vehicles and is able to safely cross the intersection. This is another example of dense traffic at an intersection. We also show results on generalization to three new weather conditions, dawn, twilight, and night. We first consider dawn condition. We observe a similar trend as before. Geometric fusion often ends up colliding with vehicles and static objects such as poles, whereas transfuser is able to successfully navigate the intersection. Next, we show results on twilight condition. We observe similar results in night condition too. Next, we visualize the attention maps and examine the top 5 attended tokens for different source tokens in the image and LiDAR input. Consider the image input to the transducer. We focus on the source token, shown here in yellow, which corresponds to the traffic light in the image. On the right, we show the attended tokens in green. 
This region overlaps with the presence of vehicle moving from left to the right, even though the vehicle is not visible in the input image. We also considered the source tokens in the LiDAR bird's eye projection. Here we examine a source token shown in yellow overlapping with a vehicle shown in red. We observe that transducer attends to a region in close proximity to a vehicle and traffic light on the opposite side of the intersection. In this example, we consider another source token overlapping with vehicles in the LiDAR bird's eye projection. We observe that transducer attends to the same vehicles in the image input. Based on these visualizations, we find that Transducer can associate traffic lights in images with vehicles in LiDAR, vehicles in LiDAR bird's eye view space to same vehicles in image space, and vehicles in LiDAR to different vehicles in traffic lights in the image input. Our extensive experiments involving different evaluation settings and complex scenarios indicate that Transducer focuses on objects of interest at intersections and is able to safely navigate difficult scenarios. For more information, check out our project page. Thank you.